what's going on guys it's your boy welcome back to another video so today is going to be a very short and simple one but i wanted to make this video because i think that this could be a whole lot of fun so um on tiktok there are these guys who i think they're just like podcast bros i'm not entirely sure but one of their bits is that they will talk about rom-com concepts for rom-coms that don't exist or whatever they'll just be like okay ready it's time for rom-coms that don't exist and then they'll list off a bunch of different rom-coms that don't exist and um every time i watch that concept i think that it's a whole lot of fun and um i uh, used to write a lot of like scripts and stuff like that for fun and uh, i have a couple of concepts for uh rom-coms and in my opinion i feel like rom-coms are one of the easiest movies to make little fake concepts for so uh today i'm going to be giving you guys just two concepts for uh rom-coms that don't exist but i think could be a whole lot of fun um and that being said i'm gonna quickly uh throw up a quick clip from the tiktoker dude so that i can give them credit so Rom-coms that don't exist. Allergic to love. A girl fakes a peanut allergy, so the hot guy she's into gives her mouth to mouth. <laughs> it becomes very romantic, but then she confesses that she isn't actually allergic to peanuts. He has to grapple with how he feels, but the yeah. fact that their relationship was rooted in a lot. And yeah, okay, and here's their at on uh, TikTok. If you want to go check them out, they are very funny. Um, that being said, I'm going to dive into my pitches that I have. Alrighty, and the first one that I have is called And They Were Roommates, and uh, it's going to take place in college. There's going to be two female students who are roommates, and um, they're freshmen in college. They're, you know, both trying to, like, find their way in college, and uh, it's going to be a very common trope of there being one roommate who's more extroverted and one roommate who's more introverted, and uh, the extroverted one is going to go to parties and stuff like that. They're going to go to sporting events. They're going to try to join a bunch of extracurricular type stuff. They're going to, you know, go out all the time and have a lot of fun, and uh, their vision of college is more or less like you only get to go to college once so they really want to enjoy the college experience and they want to get to know people they want to make connections they want to meet new people and they want to have a lot of fun because you know they think that the youth is better spent on the young so you know for them they think that you know that's one of the main reasons to go to college is to have that college experience whereas the other roommate is the more introverted one they care more about their studies they care more about their grades they really want to pass college with really good grades and they uh are very focused on constantly studying, constantly just working on school-related things. And um, they are a pretty cool person. They have a couple of passions that um, they're not super open about. Like, they can play music, and they're really good at it. Um, but because they spend so much time inside, a lot of other people don't really get a chance to know them. And over the course of a couple of semesters, the uh, extroverted friend and the introverted friend become pretty close friends. And uh, the extroverted friend is trying really, really hard to get the introverted friend to go out more and to try to go to parties and events and stuff with her and um, eventually they come across a uh, deal that they make the extroverted one says how about this we both have you know in insert college class name or whatever um we have this upcoming exam if i get a better grade than you you have to come to a party with me right and then the introverted one is like well you know she spends all her time studying and she's constantly working on stuff for her classes and stuff like that so she thinks that that's an easy challenge and she says sure you know what if you get a better grade than me um i will go to a party with you right um first time they take the test or whatever they don't get a better grade but this in turn makes the uh extroverted friend decide you know what uh, I'm going to start studying a little bit harder. So some of the times where she tells her friend, hey, I'm going to go out partying or whatever, she's actually going to the library and doing these little study sessions. And she's working really hard at bettering herself and bettering her grades so that she could get the introverted one to come out of her shell a little bit. And uh, the next time a test comes around, she gets it and she gets a higher grade than her and uh, they go out to a party they have a really fun night they go to a couple of clubs or whatever do some dances stuff like that i don't know whatever college kids do um and then when they come home for the night they decide to make it a regular thing you know every time they have an, an assessment or something like that and uh the extroverted one gets a higher grade they can go out and they can party and they can have a whole lot of fun and uh basically the whole whole concept for this film would be um introverted for friend and extroverted friend or whatever learn good things from each other the extroverted one starts studying a little bit harder and cares about her grades a little bit more now because she really likes the introverted one and then the introverted one um really likes the uh extroverted one and kind of learns how to step out of her shell and how to be more open with other people and uh, my theory for this one or how it would become like the romance side of it or how it become a love story is the one that's more extroverted is out about her sexuality she's bisexual and she's very like open with people about the fact that she's bisexual whereas the introverted one because she's like shy and she doesn't tell as much people they don't know but she's also bisexual or lesbian or either or and um i think that it can make for a pretty cool rom-com and i think that um the name if they were roommates would uh you know 
get a lot of people's attentions because TikTok, not TikTok, Vine was great. And that was just such an interesting line. But yeah, um, that being said, that was all the concept for that first one. Um, I had a whole lot of fun writing that one. And um, that's one of the ones that, like I said, I've written scripts before. I have like the first like 15 pages of a script for that one written. And I've always wanted to write out that full script, but um, I never have but I've had the whole concept written down for forever. So I was like, I'll share that because that's fun. And then um, I'll let you guys know the second one in a second. I need to gather my thoughts about that one because that one I'm not entirely how sure, how confident I am that I could tell the story from memory. So give me a second. Okay, so I went really in-depth with that one. This one's not going to be nearly as in-depth because like I said, I've written part of a script for that first one and I actually have like names for the characters and stuff like that. I have other characters who would be involved in the story or whatever. But this one um, is just a concept as of right now. I haven't written anything for it and I probably won't be writing anything for it. But um, it's going to be called something like along the lines of a full sleeve for you or something like that. And uh, the main character is going to be a girl who grew up in a Catholic family. She doesn't really like tattoos. She doesn't like facial piercing, stuff like that. She's very traditional. And um, eventually for her... 21st birthday or whatever or one of her friends 21st birthdays they're like oh my god we should get matching tattoos you would love it we should get tattoos together and um she begrudgingly is like you know what you've been my best friend my whole life sure we'll get tattoos together or whatever so she reluctantly is like you know what i'll get a tattoo she picks something small she's gonna put it on her shoulder and um they go to the tattoo place and uh the friend who it's their birthday is getting their tattoo first and um after that it's now our Tr more traditional persons um turn to get their tattoo and uh, they start getting the tattoo and they notice that the uh person who's giving their you know tattoo is very attractive and um what's it called the uh, best friend who it's their birthday something comes up and they have to leave early so for the last 30 minutes of her getting this tattoo on her shoulder um she needs t she has a conversation with the uh, tattoo artist she really likes him and they really hit it off and then uh, after she leaves she uh realizes crap i never got his number or anything like that i'll probably never see him again and uh she goes home she goes about her regular life for the next couple of weeks but every time she sees her tattoo it's a reminder of the really hot tattoo guy that she saw so she decides you know what I need to see this guy again. She doesn't know how to get in contact with him. So she schedules an appointment to get another tattoo and she gets something else on her arm. And um, basically the concept is this one, if you want to do it more comedy, you could have her forget to get his number multiple times. So she's like, crap, now I need to get another tattoo. And then she gets the whole sleeve because she, uh, what's it called? Keeps forgetting to get ta uh, his number. So she keeps going back to get tattoos just to spend more time with him. Or you can do it kind of a more serious route and uh, have it where, uh, what's it called? He doesn't give out his number to people or something. So in order to, you know, get to know him more, she has to keep coming back and getting tattoos. And she basically ends up getting an entire arm sleeve of tattoos because she really likes this uh, tattoo artist. And that's like the one way she knows to like talk to him and get to, you know, spend more time with him. And then uh, my thing is, since this is a rom-com and we're going mostly comedy, I think it'd be really funny if she notices one of the last times that she's getting a tattoo, that he has a pride flag tattoo on him and she questions it. And he's like, oh yeah, my husband asked me to get it. And I think it would just be a hilarious twist. Uh, but that being said, I realized both of my stories that I just made now might be too woke for some people. And I apologize for that. But I just think that it would be an absolutely hilarious twist if this girl like goes against her beliefs, gets an entire sleeve of tattoos or whatever, because she finds this guy attractive and then discovers that the guy isn't straight. Uh, but yeah, that was just uh, a couple of concepts for rom-coms that I think would be very funny and very interesting. If anybody wants to take them and make them go for it. Oh my God that rhymed holy shit i didn't i didn't even mean to do that but uh yeah that was just a quick and simple video for today um i uh am gonna be getting back to my regular kind of content soon uh, i've been feeling sick and kind of in a slump and uh, my car keeps breaking down on me specifically when i go to the movie theaters i've gone to the movie theaters like two times in the last month and uh, it's broken down both times i've taken my own car to the movie theater so um for some of the movies that came out, like uh, Godzilla Minus One, I really want to go see it. I haven't had the chance to. And Dream Scenario, which is now out in like most theaters, um, I haven't had a chance to go see those and make reviews of those movies. But uh, I promise you, as soon as my car is back up and at 100%, uh, I will be going and making a lot more movie reviews recently. My content's just kind of been a little like stopped for the time being because everything outside of YouTube has kind of been a struggle. But that being said, we're getting back to normal soon. I'm going to do a lot of ranking videos because it is the end of the year and I have a lot of different things that I want to rank. And uh, yeah, 
So that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, feel free to like and subscribe. If you would like to see more videos like this, please comment and let me know. Um, I'm thinking about doing one of these for horror movies as well, because uh, I do have a lot of concepts for horror movies that would be pretty interesting. And um, I like this style of video where I just like give you guys pitches for something that doesn't exist, because uh, it's like the least kind of controversial video you can make when you're making film related things every time i do film reviews i have to deal with backlash from people who disagree with my opinions on them and then same thing with rankings i constantly have to deal with people being like how would you rank this one above that one it doesn't make sense and i'll literally say something along the lines of like i personally connected with this one more they're just like your opinion's wrong and i'm like we can have different opinions guys it's okay but yeah that being said that's it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching if you liked it feel free to like and subscribe and i'll hopefully see you guys in the next one peace out Bow. Bow, bow. He wanted me to come, but first I did this. We planned a day, then we did this. Wanna be in love with the girls with the kisses. Don't give a damn, I'll rid this. I like this when I run the distance. I run the five kids for Felicis. I wanna live within the business. Buying more than what's on the clearances. You're getting big because I know you're a physicist. I wanna deny this shit, I'm unlimited.